Okay, so just backstage with Sarah Kaufman here, fresh off another victory to stay undefeated, now 10-0. and 0. Uh, So can you just give me your thoughts on your fight with Shayna Baszler? Uh, well, Shayna's a really, really tough opponent. She's, you know, been around the fight game for a long time. So I actually think that, you know, this definitely could have been a title fight for 135 pounds. Um, I mean, I wish I had been two more rounds. It would have been awesome. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, I just had a great time. And, you know, I think that I executed my game plan um, just better than she did today. So. Yeah, I was actually just talking with Stephen Quadros about that. I was saying, what do you think that you should be in the next line, in line for a title? And he said, yeah. And I was trying to think of opponents that they could put up against you because you pretty much just mow them down. Even though this did go to a decision, you were you were pretty dominant in two of the three rounds. Uh, has any opponents come to mind that they could put against you for a title fight? Uh, I'm not sure in terms of who would be ready for a title fight, but, you know, Caitlin Young is a great opponent. I'd love to fight Tara La Rosa. That would be a great fight. Um, you know, there's a lot of up-and-coming girls, 135 pounds as well, that, that, uh, that I'd love to fight. So. Yeah, if Tara ever comes over from the American Fight League or whatever, I don't know what's going on with that whole situation, but if she did come over to Strike Force, that would be a great fight for the title, eh? It would be an awesome fight. I'd be really excited for that. And you were originally scheduled to face uh, Caitlin Young at the final Elite XC show when it kind of closed down. Um, so you'd like to fight her still in the future? Yeah, it would be a great fight. I mean, we both trained for it up until less than three weeks before, right? And mm-hmm. so the fact that it was canceled was harder um, you know, it's something fight that we already anticipated. So, I mean, I think it'd be a fun fight. I think uh, we'd both bring it. I think a knockout would probably happen in that fight. But when it was leading up to the fight, I was predicting, I said, well, it'd be tough for her to get off her big power punches because you're just throwing so many punches in her face that she'd be on the defensive the whole time. So would that kind of be the game plan if you were to fight her? Would you consider taking it to the ground or just whatever happens? Yeah, I mean, we'd kind of have to sit look at some tapes and really figure out, you know, like what Caitlin likes to do, um, that kind of thing. Because, you know, I'm sure she's evolved her game a little bit, but, mm-hmm. you know, whether it's striking, wrestling, or on the ground, I really don't mind. But you did beat Sarah Schneider, and she submitted Caitlin Young, so you do kind of have a one-up there already. So possibly you have a little in if you did have the fight to go ahead. Yeah, I mean, it, it never may. It's such a crazy game where you can have one person beat this person, but then that doesn't mean the next person's... You know, the chain isn't quite the same. You know, it's kind of there, but, you know, it's a totally different style. Yeah. Well, I think with the win tonight, you're one of only two women that I know of who has at least ten wins with no loss, with Megumi Fuji being the only other one. So I think that this would have to put you in the top ten of the female fighters in the world. So looking back when you started your career, do you think that you get to this point? It, it was never my aspiration to get to where I am now. It was really just something that, you know, Adam Zujek, he's my coach, and he decided... You know, he got an opportunity, someone offered a fight for me, and he asked for me to take it. And when I, you know, when I took it, I didn't think that I was going to actually become a professional fighter. It's just one step led to another. And, you know, if anyone hasn't fought and they want to fight, that first fight is addicting. And it's, it's hard to stop after that. So I guess, does it, does it matter if you're undefeated, or does it just matter if you put on a great show and you kind of keep moving up the ranks and, and uh, getting good fights with good competition? I definitely think an undefeated record is something to feel proud of, and, and it's a big honor that I've managed to get this far mm-hmm. and maintain, um, you know, maintain my winning streak. And I think that's hard for a lot of people to come in and say, "Oh, wow," you know, mentally they they haven't lost yet. So mm-hmm. it's always there. I want to be the first one to make them lose, but where can I make them lose? Yeah, exactly. You know, some some are looking to kind of put that first loss on your record, but so far nobody's been able to do it. Yeah, at the end of the day, MMA is a crazy sport, and anything and everything happens in the sport. So, I mean, it's, um, it's really hard to maintain an undefeated record if you're going up against tough opponents all the time. You know, you're going to get caught in something, you're going to have an off day. Um, you know, luckily, I just, you know, I trust my coach, I trust my team, and uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't move anywhere else. Well, speaking of which, one final question about the fight. Did you, uh, have you ever seen anything like what she put you in at the start, the north-south choke with a knee in or anything like that? Uh, well, I'll have to actually watch that again. <laughs> My coach actually does that. Uh, he's never done it to me, but I've seen him do it to other people. I just wasn't really thinking about it at the time. And then I was suddenly like, oh, I should probably move. I don't think this is a good place for me to be right now. So... Yeah, once I got out of that, I was, you know, having a good time. Is this maybe directed to Adam, going to become my uh, priority number one to train in the future? That's so? Yeah. No. <laughs> okay, not I'm being trained. Well, you got out of it, so that's yeah. good enough. But anyways, thanks very much. Thank you.